why I love Jesus, and maybe I should think before I say I hate anything, because at least in my background, hate is a strong word that we should never have. Hate leads to bitterness, hate leads to unforgiveness, hate leads to hurt people, hate leads to never working together, hate leads to somebody who would talk to you in English, never talk to you in English again, they'll only speak in Chinese and walk away and never want to be your friend. Why do I hate? No, I don't need to hate. I need to be late with my words and my feelings and stop before I pop. I'd rather speak about loving Jesus and forget the ugliness of the human condition. Why do I love Jesus? Here's a poem about a girl. Rachel, weeping, 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 bitterly crying, bitterly crying, crying, weeping, looking, looking, looking for paradise. In the last 20 years, I've taken that poem and turned it into a song turned it in to the stories of many of girls and boys that I found. And even living here in Hong Kong, I can see into Asia. When I was in America, I couldn't see that far. I could see into India. I could see into the southern new Muslim republics of southern Russia. I could see into China. I can see into Southeast Asia. I can see into Indonesia. I can see into places in the world that represent four billion people right now. And there are four billion stories where people are looking for love. And they're looking for hope. They're looking for a better life where they can have their daily bread. They're looking for a better life where they can be fed not only in their bodies but in their hearts and in their lives. They're looking not to freeze during the winter. They're looking not to have desperation and perspiration in the summer but inspiration. They're looking for they didn't realize it but the creator of the universe calls him friend and looks into their eyes and says, I believe in you. I believe in you and I'm giving you the power to live the way you were always meant to be. When you were created in your mother's womb, I put into you DNA and I put into you my spirit so that you could live and change the world and make it a better place. Why do I love Jesus? Because Jesus has the ability to come into every person's room, every person's kitchen, and sit down with them and say, you are healed. And say, you have the hope to live to say, I will give you the ideas and the creativity to make your life and your family and your friend's life better. A young woman, 19 years old, maybe she's recently been beaten in Pakistan, a small little town. She sits at her kitchen table and cries. But something comes upon her. She takes a deep breath and she knows that she will live. And she gets ideas on how to live. That's Jesus loving her. See, Jesus is beyond religion. But Jesus births the church of God. And we 
are the church. And all the different churches around the world, we are one body. We are one family. Jesus births us because he likes to partner with human beings. Because he likes to partner and use our hands to free his ways and his things to others. So Jesus, he touches that little, little girl. He brings people into her life to help her with her visions. And she starts a business, or she starts a school, or she speaks a word that forever changes the destiny of thousands and thousands of people in her community. Rachel weeping, 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 bitterly crying, crying, looking for paradise. And then she takes a deep breath, and God's love enters her heart, and she lives. There are Rachels, there are Roberts, there are Johns, and Jimmies, and Janets, and all kinds of people next door to where you live who are maybe being hit. Maybe their father or mother never took care of them. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe they lost that they are even a valid person. I love Jesus. I love his church. Love you. God bless you. The strength of my heart. The strength of my heart.